Well, I'm getting a little ahead of ourselves here. We're not at the play yet. We all came from different airports and different airlines from the United States to Munich, Germany. This is my flight with Janet getting off at Munich. And once we're in the airport, as usual, we go through the passport controls, which was very simple, get our luggage, and then we all headed with various taxis or trains to the hotel where we all gathered. Hotel Eurostars Grand Central. Very nice in the heart of Munich. Look who's here. Hey there. How's it going? The world famous Father Dan. How are you doing? Good, Good to see you. Good to see you too. Welcome. Thank you so much. Awesome, early arrivals now, getting off the test. Teresa and Dominic. How are you? Very good. Good, good to see you. Hi, Steve. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Dominic. Hi, Steve. Steve Ray here, fearless leader on this Oberammergau, Germany, Switzerland, and Italy trip. And here's some of our folks on the first day here, came in early, Dominic and Teresa and other great folks, and Father Dan, who's gonna be celebrating all the masses with us and some others there. And uh, we're just having a drink here before some of us run out for dinner. And we're gonna go pick up the group tomorrow at the airport at 10.30, bring them back to mass in the hotel at 1.30, and we're all looking forward to a great time. Right, Teresa? Right. We can't wait. Several weeks ago, Teresa had found a nice restaurant with her husband, Dominic, and invited us out for dinner before the main group arrived. So here we are enjoying dinner in Munich. Today is Wednesday, June 15th, and we're beginning our trip. We're going to Germany, going to go down through Switzerland and Italy. We're picking up our main group at the airport today. I want to give you a little idea what we're going to be doing on this trip here, coming to see the Oberammergau Passion Play in Germany. We're going to start here in Munich. People are arriving yesterday and today, and we're going to see Germany and Dachau and other places to go through Switzerland, over the Alps, into Italy, and then all the way down to Rome. So a little more detail here. We're starting in Munich. We're gonna spend the day here and in Dachau and uh, Alta Pinakothek uh, Museum, which is some of my favorite Rembrandt paintings on the life of Christ. We're gonna see other areas here. Then we're gonna drive down through Galen into Switzerland, spend a day or two in Zurich. After Zurich, we're gonna cross over the Alps and come down into Milan, hitting a few places along the way. There we're going to celebrate Mass at the Duomo, see the baptismal font where St. Ambrose baptized St. Augustine and a lot of other things. Drive over the Alps, of course, we did that to get to Milan. And then we're going to drive from Milan all the way through this beautiful countryside along the coast. We're going to come to the Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano and the face cloth of Christ at Montepello, and then two or three days in Rome. So that gives you an overview of what we're gonna be doing on this trip. Well, here's the four of us arriving at the airport to pick up our group. Ciao. So we're going in Hello. now to collect our pilgrims. How do you say hi in German, Steve? <laughs> well, we finally got here to Terminal D and Terminal 1, Gate D. There's Big Mike, we like Big Mike. <laughs> And here's all the folks ready, waiting. We're picking them all up. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Teresa, I've already seen you. Here's our two guides, Jacek and Olga. Well, our bus has arrived at the airport and we're getting everybody loaded up to head to the hotel and then to mass and then back to the hotel for dinner. So 
so we got all the people gathered from different arrivals halls and we're all organized. Hey guys, we made it. That's what corporate travel and all of us went through the last two years. So it was horrible for everybody that was dealing with travel especially. So we hung in there, corporate travel was very heroic. I just, uh, the way they handled it and did the best we could. And now it's over and here we are. Amen. Finally. So we're so glad that you persevered and stuck with us because we have a very exciting trip planned for you uh, from here all the way to Italy. And we got the other half of the people already at the hotel. We'll get there. Yeah, they are, we've been counting them. We're good. And this is Olga and Jack. Yay. And if you want to call him by his real name, Jacek is his Polish name. They're, they've come actually from Poland to be with us. And the driver is Leszek. Leszek is the driver. And all the of them. The other driver is Jacek. Jacek also well. the other driver. Jacek, 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 and they're all from Poland, which is just across the border. And they worked with us when we did our Poland trips. So we liked them so much we wanted them back again for this one. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Dear Lord, we give you thanks for all that you have given us in our lives. But today we especially thank you for the gift of getting everyone here safely and soundly. We ask you to bless this trip that we are about to undertake. Hello, I don't know how to say hello in German. I guess it's just hello. Is it? How do you say it in German? Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Okay. Usually I'm saying ciao, buongiorno. We'll do that when we not not here. We'll do that when we cross the border in Italy. But uh, welcome, and we're so glad to see many of you again who are repeats with us, and honored that Steve and Janet invited us to join them as. Uh, fellow host of the trip and always great to work with Steve through Footprints of God and Steve and I are going to be doing a lot of fun things and uh, talking on the bus. Dominic and I will be sharing our testimony and then Steve and I are also going to be doing a, a probably a, a live version, semi-live version of uh, Catholic Connection on the radio. And Dan's here to greet everybody as they get off the bus. So glad to have all these programs. At the hotel. Hello, this is Shiro. Hi, Don't forget Shiro. <laughs> And here is a picture of the walking group on their way to Mass, about 20-minute walk. And here's the bus group arriving for Mass. This is one of those churches you just can't get a picture of, St. Benno. It is huge and gorgeous and massive, and there's no way you can get a picture to incorporate it all. Before Mass, I gave a description of St. Benno and this church, and you can see the video of my talk down below. This is a beautiful church on St. Benno was known for the king taking his keys away and throwing them into the river, but a fish came back out of the water and had the keys in his mouth. And that is the symbol of St. Ben. By the way, one of the things I find interesting when I read this to you is we think we have a lot of problems in the church today. This was a thousand years ago. Wait till you hear about the problems that were going on in the church a thousand years ago, and they survived, and we're still here. It gives us hope to know that we'll still survive and a thousand years from now, people will still be talking about, wow, just think what happened back in 2020, 2021, but the church survived. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. So glad to begin this pilgrimage throughout Europe with the goal of the Holy Sacrifice of Mass. Baby pelicans feeding on their mother's flesh and blood is a sign of the Eucharist. Here's a statue in the church of St. Benoît. The keys were thrown into the river to take away his bishopric, but the fish came out with the keys and he got them back. And here are the relics of St. Benno right here in this little case. There's the bones of St. Benno.
Steve Ray here. We're finally back from Mass to the hotel. Uh, everybody's settled in here now. We got one couple still coming, but everybody else is here waiting for dinner. Wait till you see them. I'm going to show you in just a second. We're at the hotel Eurostar Grand Central. Really nice hotel. And we're ready to have dinner, but we're all having some before dinner drinks. And we'll go in. Whoa, there goes the train. Cable car. And we'll go in and show you where they all are. Oh, here comes some folks right here. And here's our group relaxing and enjoying that they're finally here in Munich. This is an Aperol Spritz. It's everybody's favorite here in Europe. This guy's good. Everybody's having fun here before dinner. They all see Aperol Spritzes. What did I tell you? And everybody's having a good time just talking and relaxing before dinner. And we'll get everybody to bed tonight early, except some of us are going out to the beer garden. But uh, we're so glad that we have all of you here. We are honored that you trusted us. I know a lot of you have traveled with us before. Some people said four times, five times, six times. That's a badge of honor for us. And we're going to work very hard not to let you down on this one, too. So thank you for joining us. Janet and I want to just run through a few things. And then we're going to have Father Dan. This is Father Dan, by the way. He's our priest. How many, how many have had, been with Father Dan in the past? All right, a couple. The rest of you are in for a treat. I know he looks I know he looks like he's 19, but really he is the canon lawyer for the uh, Diocese of Mobile, Alabama. He handles all the the canon law cases for the church and he's also now studying to get his degree in bioethics, which we really need in the church too because we need that to be taught. So this you're in for a treat. He's a lot of fun and very devout at the same time. And if you really want to please him, take him to the beer garden. He loves going to the beer garden. <laughs> okay. Teresa and Dominic, we invited them to come along because they're always great hosts with us and they're a lot of fun. And I'm really shy. My archbishop says he's praying that I come out of my shell. So we'll see how that works. So make sure for tomorrow, because it's a, it's a feast day, it's a holy day, we need two readers for tomorrow. So Tomorrow we're celebrating the Feast of Corpus Christi. Unlike it, back in the States, where it will be Sunday. Tomorrow it will be because the Universal Church celebrates it on Thursday. Enjoy the trip and enjoy your dinner. And as soon as you're done, you're welcome to go either to bed or with Dan, Father Dan and I to the beer garden. <laughs> Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, let us bless the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. God, our Father, thank you for bringing us safely to our destination, and we ask you to bless our food, our fellowship, and our fun, and our beer. And we ask <laughs> that you increase in us the spirit of holiness as we pray. Bless, bless us, the Lord, Lord and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty, the Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Just so you know, in the old Roman ritual, uh, before the Second Vatican Council, there was a very solemn blessing of beer that was in there. Uh, so it's a very traditional thing for Catholics to bless our beer. <laughs> Show them your tattoo, Father. Okay. I have a tattoo, and uh, this was on my fifth trip to the Holy Land with Steve and Janet. Uh, we, we had made the way of the cross at four, four in the morning, and then I offered Mass at Calvary, and uh, I offered Calvary at Calvary, and then I played, prayed at the place where Jesus Christ rose from the dead, and then I got this tattoo. And I got a little bit up from where Christians normally get it so that it is not distracting during Mass, uh, but I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of going to the Holy Land with Steve and Janet. I, I love it. I, um, it's been one of the joys of my priesthood to be able to experience the place where Jesus walked and spent time with his disciples, ministered, and then gave his life for us. It's a Amen. Jerusalem cross is what the tattoo is. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.